Hey, you there. That's enough of that. Coming to regulate this, Nick Ellis. We'll see this time, Fred. Howling outside the old lady, muttering about a murder in Threadneedle Street, cursing insects on the National Railroad. Had to bring her in, didn't I? Chut, 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 menace to herself. Ah, no danger to have her, surely. She don't belong in jail. Too true, but where then does she belong? Let's walk her out, Fred. Send her back to Dr. Bambi. He raised holy hell last time I kept her overnight. Oh, what happened? Same night Jack splattered at the waste of mother's love was nabbed for gutting that heavy outside a mermaid. Yeah, I was taking Alice down and uh, we meet two coppers walking Jack to the cells. He's mad than the usual, I never. Wrong bloke nonsense uh, when he sees Alice. That's a bitch what done it, he yells. She screams, you miserable cur, you leech, you maggot, living off another's labour, etc, etc. I'm admiring her line of inquiry, but suddenly she hits her head or something and fates. Couldn't send her home, could I? And Dr. Bumby pitched a fit. Said he'd have me jobbing me arse on a plate. <laughs> Told him he could have the former. <laughs> Leave the latter alone, thank you very much. Good night, Alice. <laughs> you know the way out. with his affections. Creepy sod. Touching me. Told Papa to never invite him to tea again. Thank you. 
light. Light is useless if what it illuminates causes pain and suffering. Better to cast such things into the dark depths of Lethe, the river of forgetfulness.
back to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her. What's left of her, anyway? 